Hi, this is Vic Tantri at Kandra.com. Most people know that saving money is important to financial security in the future, but what a lot of people don't know is how their money can grow over time. In this video, I'll show you how to use a savings interest calculator to determine the growth of your savings based on a savings plan today. Let's get started with some of the major inputs. The first major input is the number of years that we have to invest in cell E6. So we're going to assume a 20 year time horizon. But just like everything else in this spreadsheet, this can be customized based on the specifics of your saving plan. Next up, we have our initial investment. I have $10,000 right now, so that's my initial investment. And next, we have our expected annual interest rate. How much do we expect our money to grow by each year? I'm going to say a fairly conservative 5%. Right below that, we have our deposit amount. How much are we going to be depositing? Um, and so I'm going to say that I, I can make a $500 deposit, and that deposit is going to occur on a monthly basis. Now, you can make your deposits occur as infrequently as semi-annually or as frequently as daily, but I'm going to choose monthly. We also have the option of uh, adding some annual investments, um, and this is over and beyond the deposit amount. So let's say that I get an annual bonus of $1,000 a year, uh, and I want to contribute that to my savings as well. I can put that in this, uh, in this particular cell. So now we uh, can look at our summary of results. First up is our expected value of our savings after 20 years. It's going to be about $266,000. That's a pretty significant uh, amount of cash. And you can see how that breaks down. We have the total invested is $150,000, and the interest that we've earned is $116,000 over that 20-year period. Scrolling down a little bit, we can see a graph here, actually, that shows the red line shows um, our investment, and the blue line shows how the money is expected to grow. Now remember, these are all um, expected growth rates. We're, we're making certain assumptions about constant growth that may or may not be true for your investment portfolio. But this, dis this does give you a general sense of how your money will grow given those investments. Let's scroll down a little bit more. And you can see that we have an, uh, a table here that shows a year-by-year -year schedule of, of, our, uh, of our savings plan. So first of all, in column A, we have the year number. In column C, we have the rate at which we expect our money to grow, 5%. Column D is our, uh, our interest that we're going to be earning on our money. In column F, we have the total amount of deposits that we're going to be making each year. And in column H, we have our total balance. Of that total balance, you can see how much is a contribution and how much of it is interest. So this provides you with a very nice holistic schedule um, year by year showing many different aspects of your savings plan. The final aspect of the uh, this spreadsheet and actually of all Vertex 42 spreadsheets is that they are very printer friendly. If we click on the print preview button here, you can see that everything is nicely consolidated onto a single page. Um, and uh, it has the graph, the inputs, the summary of results, and of course our, uh, our table um, showing everything year by year. This is something that you can easily share with your family uh, and, and print out. and um, It's quite friendly in that way. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has shown you how to use the savings interest calculator to, do, uh, to determine uh, the expected value of your savings given certain assumptions. And uh, for similar videos, I recommend you check out my website, www.canjo.com.